On this episode of Fox Family Heating and Air Conditioning, we're going to discuss something that affects every homeowner at one point or another. How long can I wait before getting this repair done on my HVAC system? So more than a couple things have broken on your furnace over the last couple of years, uh, and some people start getting itchy and start thinking, how long can I wait before getting this repair done on my HVAC system? Like an igniter went out two years ago, uh, last year the control board failed, and now my compressor's gone bad, and they're saying that it can't be repaired because the compressor is sealed, and they can't get in to fix the broken thingy. I mean, obviously a major component like a compressor going out is dire. If it's 100 degrees outside, you're gonna have less time to think about getting a new system or just making the repair. Waiting to make the repair is gonna be super uncomfortable for your family and your pets, so you're kind of forced into making a quick decision. It shouldn't stop you, however, from obtaining a second opinion and getting a couple quotes on the repair from different companies. Sometimes you might be told by a technician that you have a capacitor that is below factory specs or a control board that's working now, but she can see burnt terminals on the back of the board. Maybe the technician has told you you have a leak in the refrigerant system. These are repairs that need to be made, but the timing's not right for your budget, right? And the system is still working, so do I really need to make this decision right this second? No, not if it's still working and you're cooling or heating just fine. I will tell you this though, the capacitor that is low can have a damaging effect on the motor it's supporting. So if the capacitor is low, it can cause your motor to stop running, it can cause it to run backwards, or it can cause a heavy strain on the motor, uh, which will wear it out faster. And now you have another repair to make, and, and it costs more. How many more things can go wrong with this system? This can honestly happen to systems that are anywhere from eight years old to 30 years old. Most furnaces and ACs last about 15 to 25 years. 15 without maintenance and 20 or more with maintenance. If someone's coming out once or twice a year and pampering that machine, cleaning it, checking all the components, and trying to catch early warnings of failure, you're gonna very likely have a system that'll keep you cool for 20 to 25 years. We bought our home when it was nine years old. The HVAC system is still going, but I have had to make a couple repairs on it. We have a York Diamond 80 from 1999. It came with the house in our nice little neighborhood near Sacramento, California. The hot surface igniter cracked one night, so the furnace would not blow warm air, so we replaced that. At 14 years old, the AC's compressor blew, uh, that meant no cooling for 24 hours in the middle of summer. I have replaced capacitors, installed a UV light for air purification, and enlarged my return air to an 18-inch duct. I did all that through the preventive maintenance that I do every spring and fall on my own system. So I wasn't without heating or cooling for those repairs. The thing is, I know a guy. I could just go out to my truck and grab what I need to fix my AC and be ready to go in a matter of hours. You have to pay real dollars for the parts and labor involved in making these repairs. I haven't had to replace my inducer motor, my control board, my blower motor, condenser fan motor, or my heat exchanger. All parts that cost $500 to $2,000 or more. The pressure switches, safeties, transformers, relays, igniters, capacitors, contactors, ducts, etc. Those are all smaller repairs that you can encounter too. Those parts are usually in the area of zero to five hundred dollar range. These are easier to pay off because they don't come in the thousands. Warranties on systems made before 2015 typically carried a five-year parts warranty and a 10, 20, or lifetime heat exchanger warranty. That meant that any part that came on the system and broke within five years, the owner would only have to pay labor to get the part replaced by a licensed HVAC technician. Nowadays, warranties usually boast a 10-year parts warranty and 20 years or lifetime warranties on heat exchangers, which are made with better materials than 20 years ago. Incentives to buy a new HVAC system are there if you look for them. If you want to save money on the cost of a new HVAC system, ask if there are any rebates available for upgrading your HVAC equipment now instead of later when those rebates and tax credits can be taken away. In Sacramento, we're able to offer $400, $500, and $850 rebates through the Smud Utility Company if you were to put in an Energy Star rated AC system like the Train XL16i and a matching train coil and furnace. The ability to save money when you're running the system would also be great. The furnaces today can be up to 97, 98% efficient on fossil fuel usage. They usually come with two stages of heating too, so it uses a less power consuming mode most of the time that it's operating. 
Same with the AC. They come with two stages and even fully variable systems that can really dial in your comfort level. It's tough making that decision. It also doesn't have to be an impulse buy either. Take time to think about it and find the right contractor that will pull all the necessary permits and do the work for you right the first time. The most important day of an HVAC system's life is the day that it was installed. So just make sure that you do your homework and choose the right one for you and the one that you feel comfortable with. Check out our blog, FAQs about replacing HVAC system for more on this big purchase and the decisions that are made in the process of getting a new HVAC system installed. If you decide to make that repair, that's totally fine. Some people are really into making their equipment that they have last as long as possible. Nothing wrong with that. I mean, if the parts are available for that equipment, and you can safely make that repair without compromising the original factory specifications, then why not? Because it's your money. You can either choose to keep putting your money into the current HVAC system or upgrade to the new standard of HVAC equipment that's sold today. The manufacturers and their engineers really outdo themselves every few years and come out with the next cool technology for the industry. Well, good luck in making this decision. If you're in the Sacramento area, let Fox Family Heating and Air Conditioning come out to your house and have the discussion with you in person. We would love to be part of your HVAC system's life, whether it's doing the preventive maintenance on your aging system or installing and maintaining a new one for you. Thanks so much for watching this video. Fox Family Heating and Air Conditioning is proud of its customer service and responsiveness to our customers' needs. Give us a chance to show you just how fast, honest, and friendly we can be.